Good afternoon everyone, it's Primrose here and um, welcome to another plant video and today I have some sick plants to share with you uh, this is a paste lily, it's actually I think severely um, nutrient deficient but uh, first let's get into something else so I have been lucky getting some fresh produce coming in every week from my father-in-law's garden. So I believe these are winter uh, vegetables. Um, these are superfoods, by the way. I have beetroot there, parsnips, and some weird looking carrots. So, what I wanted to say is that if you have a spare space, a backyard where you can grow vegetables, it's always best to consume or grow your own food. That way you do not consume uh, chemicalized um, vegetables. So, I usually um, get my fresh produce organic and um, I just wanted to show you that this is how I try to preserve my um, vegetables so they could stay fresh longer these are lettuce by the way but um, the thing is these vegetables traveled a long way from the farm to your local uh, grocery shop shelves and by the time you consume it three days later or a week later the nutrition con nutritional content has already been depleted so much so what i'm going to do with this vegetables here is i'm going to chop them Peel them, chop them off, and steam and steam them, and put them in the freezer for future use. Because obviously we cannot consume all of these in just one day. So, um, getting back into my plants, these are my peace lilies, and um, you will be surprised if I tell you that this. A sad looking one here is the mother plant so I've had it for over three years now um, when we first moved into our home four years ago um, this was gifted to us by my father-in-law it was growing rapidly that I had to divide them and put them in a separate containers so my issue with this plant is that every time I water it the leaves react and this is what happens it turns black first it wilts and then it turns black and um, the good example for that is this one it's a new leaf so if you could see that it's um, very thin and it's flimsy that it could not even support itself to stand erect and uh, before I could take any action, I made, I made sure that I did a thorough assessment of the plant before I could even decide what to do with it. So first, I checked the leaves on the soil uh, just to make sure that it is not some kind of an insect attack on my plants. So far, I did not see any infestations. Um, so I wait for this plant to droop down before I water it. So I am sure that overwatering is not the issue. I wanted to think that this is an issue of nutri nutrient deficiency. So I started feeding it in the summertime, starting with this plant. And um, 
I did get a lot of new leaves coming out but every time I water it they just wilt away and um, I try not to do multiple treatment um, all at the same time because I'm not sure what the result would be so I waited I did another feeding two weeks after that it was getting a regular uh, feeding all throughout summer and the fall but still I was getting the same result so what I did a month ago after watching a video of magnesium deficiency in plants I decided to treat it with an Epsom salt solution so I will try to post the link of that video on the description box below so after the epsom salt treatment i get a very good result if you could see this new leaf and another one over there they have been watered several times now after the treatment and it managed to save those new uh, leaves and the second thing for me to do is to treat this one as well and as you can see these are new leaves already and they have been watered several times now after the Epsom salt treatment and um, it managed to stay healthy but this one has not been treated and I'm gonna do the same thing to this so that is all I'm going to share to today so I hope that you could get a bit of useful information from that and if you are having the same problem with your houseplants in particular house lily uh, please leave me a comment in the description box below so thank you so much for watching take care bye